have a singles match, Sam Bass versus Tommy Gilbert in the first one, Jerry Lawler and Jim White against Leon Chandler and Ken Nichols in the second tag team match. And for next Friday night, we've got a bang up wrestling program lined up for you. Big Jim will tell you about that following the first match. Now we'll go to the center of the ring in the first match following these messages. We know how it feels to want those good things of life now rather than someday. Large or small loan, come to Associates Financial Services. Nice people who want to lend you money. West Town Mall, Christmas shopping at its very best. Miller's, Penny's, Profits, plus 70 more gorgeous stores. Shop West Town Mall. Now, ladies and gentlemen, time for your first match of the evening here on Wide World of Wrestling. This will be a singles match. Best two out of three falls with a 45-minute time limit. Weighing 221 pounds from Texas, Sam Bear. His opponent, weighing 218 pounds from Lexington, Kentucky, Tommy Gilbert. The referee is Devoy Brunson. Oh, here we go with slimy, sleazy Sam Bass and Tommy Gilbert. They're up there checking out all the hidden compartments that uh, Mr. Bass has. Looking around for chains and what have you. Now, of course, DeVoy Brunson talking to him about using the fist and all that type of thing. Sam said he wouldn't dare do such a thing. So, we have a singles match to get started here. Tommy Gilbert and Sam Bass. So there he is up there talking away as usual. Oh, there's the bells. We're getting this thing started now. Tommy Gilbert now. Going after uh, Gilbert. Uh, Gilbert going after Sam here in the corner. That's going to break it up. So far, no one's thrown a punch. And Gilbert now back into the uh, referee's hole. Comes up with a figure four wrist lock. And you can hear Mr. Bass holler and scream and carry on. He doesn't like that much at all. Figure four wrist lock on Sam Bass. Applied by Tommy Gilbert. And almost down on one knee. And you can hear him holler every once in a while. Go back into the ropes again we go. This will break up the hole. And he says, get him off of me. So Bass now, backing all the way over to the other corner. Back in the referee's hole. They go into a headlock now, goes Sam Bass. And you can hear him holler, oh. Tell him to watch it. Well, I think Sam is going to try to, could be, have a hold of some trunks over there. Back again, and there's a bread basket punch from Bass. Kicking the bread basket from a big boot in there. Here comes over to the turnbuckle, comes Tommy Gilbert. Blind there. And a chin lock for Sam Bass. Gilbert would love to pull that hair right about now. Bridging up. For a while, he's got the referee looking at his hair. He pulls Gilbert, pulls him back down. Again, hollering, watch my hair. Gilbert bridging back up again, but his hair being pulled to get him back down again. He's telling Gilbert to give it up. So now, Gilbert seeing we can't twist that old head a little bit, break this thing up. So far, he's doing a pretty good job of it. But Sam Bass didn't turn loose of his hole. 
lures the referee out of position and comes up with a little hair pulling of his own. Sam doing some talking over there. Now again, here's Gilbert trying to maneuver Bass out of the way so he can turn loose of that thing. And again, comes up to little hair pulling when he catches DeVoy Brunson out of position. I think Brunson knows uh, a little suspicious of it. Now we see some choking going on from Bass. Now we've got a chin lock again from Bass. Takes him down with the, more of that hair pulling. I'm telling them. You just tell them I've got him. Well, I wonder how long you'll have him, though, Mr. Bass. Well, now, Gilbert. Coming up on top nine, I believe Gilbert has got Mr. Bass down. So now we'll see how he's got him. I can't tell whether Gilbert may be doing a little choking or not. It's kind of a reverse headlock here of some kind. But Bass rolls Gilbert over. And some choking going on here from Sam Bass, of course. Now, I gotta work your head off hole there from Tommy Gilbert. That breaks it up. And Sam's doing some begging. Won't well, shake hands. And Gilbert's not going to do it. Want to shake some hands here. So Gilbert now believes a little bit mad. Now you hear Mr. Bass backing up in the corner there. He's wanting to be friends. He's not going to do anything anymore, he says. he's talking about over there, but he's getting everybody all riled up. And the referee's hole now into a wrist lock and head scissors here by Gilbert. And you can hear Mr. Sam Bass holler and scream. He holler, yeah, he. he doesn't like that much at all. Gilbert taking his hand, hitting his leg, and they've got a tighter hold. Head scissors here applied by one Tommy Gilbert on Sam Bass. Bass getting to his knees. Using trunks now for leverage and wanting him to be counted. He says count, 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 count. But Gilbert's not giving the referee a chance now to start counting. Moving those shoulders around. Pull those shoulders up. Watch this, over goes Sam, and still we have a head scissors on Sam Bass. No, no, no. No, no, no. Sam Bass now, right there, out there pleading for mercy and not getting a whole lot from Tommy Gilbert. He's trying to talk his way out, but that's not working too well either. So old Sam up on his knees now, trying to get out of that head scissors if he possibly can. Cauliflower ears being made here. Out he comes, but those ears took a beating coming out of it. Now over he comes, but look, Gilbert didn't give him a chance. Comes up with a hammerlock here on Sam Bass. And stomping that arm. Somebody said, boy, Sam, you got it. <laughs> Sam's not having much to say about him, gotten him now, forgetting him.
Tommy Gilbert coming down hard on that left arm. Sam Bass now. Still holding on to his hammerlock. Coming up into an arm bar with it. And you can see little wheels turning in Mr. Bass's head. He's thinking up something. Throws the breadbasket, Bud. But Gilbert coming right back with a warp your head off hold. It's back in this arm bar. And again, comes back with a warp your head off. So they're going to punch it out, it looks like. Gilbert says, you want a box? Let's go with it, boy. Gilbert, born and away, warp your head off hold right after another. Red basket punches. Sam Bass now right in the corner there and not in too good of shape. There's a blind man. Sam on his knees and wanting some mercy. Sam said he won't talk to the referee about the hair pulling. There's Gilbert now. Sam goes to his knees, pips up Gilbert, comes up with a toe hold. Says he's got him. And now Gilbert trying to get up there and get to Sam and got a big elbow right in his face for his trouble. Sam Bass has a toe hole. Again, that big elbow goes to the head of Tommy Gilbert. Now with his toe hole, foot on the other foot and twisting. He says, you better give up. Sam seems to be sure that he'll give up, all right. Gilbert, though, is trying to figure out some way of getting out of this toe hole. I believe he's gone after Sam's beard. Yeah, Sam holler a little bit. Big elbow to the breadbasket there on Gilbert. That releases anything he was trying to do. Gilbert. He just moves over and sits down on the leg. Now back with his toe hold again. Twisting on it. And a work your head off over here from Sam Bass on Tommy Gilbert. End of the rope goes Gilbert. Body flip. Ready here. Going to be reversed on him. Two, three. So there, Sam got tricked up here. Got tricked. Tommy Gilbert trying for a body flip and Tommy Gilbert held on and pinned Sam Bass. So now Gilbert just showing uh, Devoy Brunson what he did and so the first fall has gone to Tommy Gilbert. Let's break for this word. We'll be right back. It's a real money saver from Gateway Furniture. Enjoy the convenience of a five-drawer chest and a triple dresser with twin mirrors. Dream on a queen-size bed. Feel the Milan Picant finish. All this elegance for just $347. This Meloso bedroom suit from Bassett regularly sells for $499.95. You save over $150 during the sale. See for yourself at Gateway Furniture in beautiful downtown Maryville. Now, my friends, Jack Klaus here of Taylor Mobile Homes, Alcoa Highway, and Clinton Highway has a real deal for you, Jack. That's right, Jim. Taylor's put together a package, a new 1973 two-bedroom, 12-wide total electric, and an approximately half an acre lot, only $69.95. That includes delivery setup, the electrical hookup, sewer, and water, everything in that one package. In other words, you folks ain't got no place to put a mobile home. Hey, this is the answer to your problem, just $69.95 complete. Remember, nobody gives you a deal like Taylor. Back at ringside now, we've got Tommy Gilbert here. We'd like to talk to him here for just a few minutes. Um, kind of tripped up old sleazy Sam out there a little bit. He thought you, he had you on a body flip, didn't he, Tommy? Yeah, that's right, Jim. Uh, and I used a sunset flip on him. Sometimes you can maybe lead a guy into thinking that he's got you where you can uh, use a maneuver on him like that where you can pin him if it's quick enough. And I just lucky that time, I guess. Yeah. 
Well, let's get back to talking about... Uh, will you stay out of this, please? Uh, let's talk a little bit about what happened last night, uh, Tommy. I, I noticed that uh, Donovan uh, got upset about something or other, and I never did understand what he is, but he did pop you on there when you weren't expecting it. Yes, sir. I don't really, uh, Jim, I can't really say what it was over unless it was whenever I hit him that last time, whenever I was trying to tag him, and uh, I don't remember Lawler or why, whichever one it was had a hold of me and turned me loose, and I ran into him. But why he would do that, I don't understand. I was so surprised that after they pinned me, I still didn't know really what had happened. Yeah. I couldn't understand it. Why well, it looks like he would have understood that uh, you were trying to get over there for a tag, and a uh, uh, man holding you back, and he turns you loose, it's all you can do. Well, that's right. Uh, I, I, well, it's such a shock to me that I, I still can't really believe that he done it, you know. But uh, that's just one of those things. He, Jack, I thought was... Uh, had uh, sort of changed his ways and uh, would stand right up with a fella. You know, he has many a time in that ring. I know what kind of fella he is. He's rough and tough come, uh, wrestler whenever he's in there, and he's uh, he puts all out. I'll have to say that much for him. Well, anyway, you've got him next Friday night, so we may find out a little something next Friday. Well, we'll just see then who can uh, do the best in there because I'm going to be out to win, and I know Jack will because... As I said, I know what kind of man he is, and he he goes in there to win, and I'm going to do the same, and we'll just have to well, see. Well, he's been known to pull a few tricks in his time, hasn't he? Yes, sir. That's one thing that I'll, have, I'll just have to watch for, because I know he's capable of doing it, too. Well, Tommy, lots of luck with Jack Donovan. Uh, maybe he's a changed man. You can't tell about him. Well, if he is, I, I, I'll say this much. I hate to see it, really. Yeah, yeah, me too. Because uh, uh, he, has, uh, he has been my partner a few times, but... Uh, I'm going to just have to forget about that and go in there and try to beat him. Right. Well, it should be an interesting match next Friday. Thank you, Tommy Gilbert. Well, all kinds of wrestling action will be on the card now next Friday night at Chill Highway Park Arena. Tommy Gilbert has asked for a match, as we were just talking about, against Dandy Jack Donovan, who turned on Gilbert last night. We're trying to figure out why. Uh, he left the ring after slugging Tommy and left Tommy at the mercy of uh, Jerry Lawler and Jim White. Now, Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall are begging for a match with Lawler and White for the Tennessee Tag Team title. And Lawler and White say no. The Avengers are asking to meet the champs. The Patriots, a new mass team, is also seeking a match with Lawler and White. So I don't know what's going to happen with uh, Jerry Lawler and Jim White, and I guess maybe we'll find out a little later here. The McGuire twins now are going to be back. That's 1,300 pounds worth of wrestlers. One weighs 640, the other one weighs 660. And uh, they're going to take on three wrestlers Friday night. Jerry Myatt, Billy Hamilton, and Sam Sleazy Bass. Even against three of the McGuire's, there still be 650 pounds ahead weight-wise. So that should be a very interesting match with the McGuire twins taking on three wrestlers next Friday night and still be 650 pounds ahead of the three. So we're going to have some something really going on here next uh, Friday night. Now...
1,500 pounds of them. They're going to take on three wrestlers, Jerry Myatt, Billy Hamilton, and Sam Bass. Even against the three, uh, the McGuire's will still be 650 pounds ahead of them weight-wise. Now, we told you about Tommy Gilbert and uh, Dandy Jack Donovan. Uh, Donovan turned on Gilbert last night. We'll have a match with those two next Friday. Johnny Walker returns to Chill Howie Park Friday night. He'll take on Don Wright in a singles match. All this now, Friday night, Chill Howie Park Arena, next Friday. Now, tonight, tonight at 8 p.m., Lenore City High School GM Ron and Don Wright meet Tommy Gilbert and Dennis Hall. Jack Donovan faces Billy Hamilton, and Devoy Brunson will see action also in Lenore City. That's at 8 o'clock now, tonight, down at the Lenore City High School Gym. I believe we're about ready to get our second fall going here. Tommy Gilbert. Tommy Gilbert won the first one. So we've got Sam Bass already in the ring. He lost the first fall to Tommy Gilbert. And here comes Gilbert and Devoy Brunson in. No, you didn't get cheated. You caught it pretty good. There's the bell. Let's get it going here on this second fall here. <laughs> Tommy Gilbert and, and of course, uh, um, Sam Bass. I forgot his name there for a minute. He came up with a headlock now, using hair to keep that headlock on Tommy Gilbert. Gilbert trying to come out of this thing with a wrist lock of some kind. And a warp your head off, old from Sam Bass. Puts Gilbert over on the, on the ropes. Another warp your head off, old. Into the turnbuckle goes Tommy Gilbert. So he's saying, get up from there. Again, into that turnbuckle goes Tommy Gilbert. Fine mare on Gilbert. Now into a chin lock, Sam Bass. He says, I've got him. Doing a little choking now, I believe. So Brunson said, break that up. Work your head off hole there. Tells him to open up that fist there, and he said, OK, and goes right on and does it. And down hard to the bread basket comes Sam Bass, again going to the choking tactic. I think Sam says he better win this one. One, and a one on him, and Gilbert rolls him off. Kick in the bread basket down from Bass, another kick. And here comes Gilbert all the way out. Rolls out on the concrete. So again, trying to get back in there now. And another warp your head off hole on Gilbert, and down he goes. All the way out of the ring. Coming right back up again there. Now, Sam Bass waiting on him, and going to throw him out on the other side, and out he goes. So Gilbert, spending his time now, being thrown out of the ring. First one side, then the other. He says, get up from there. Gilbert coming back in the ring now. Another warp your head off hole here from Sam Bass. And now, seeing if he can't get a pin, one. And takes his knees and cracks old Bass right on the head there. With it. a warp your head off hole from Sam on Gilbert. Wrap that arm around the ropes, pound away here. All right, now here again, here comes Gilbert going in there. Catches him with a knee, didn't try that body flip this time. He probably learned his lesson on that knee. Another knee right into the bread basket here of one Tommy Gilbert, one. And again, Gilbert kicks out. Sam trying to put his man away if he can. But Gilbert's coming up with a punch or two of his own to warp your head off hole there. And another warp your head off hole. Kick into the red basket from Gilbert. Gilbert coming alive. Sam Bass trips up Gilbert, though. Trying for a pin. He's using the rope. But again, Gilbert comes up with a warp your head off hole, but Sam Bass punching away on that red basket of Gilbert. So here they are, punching away at each other. Into a choke now goes Sam. The boy Brunson says, up from there. So now into an arm bar goes Tommy Gilbert. An arm, you've got him. For how long? Into a hammerlock now goes Gilbert. Bass hollering, give up, boy. 
breadbasket punch there from Sam Bass. And another one. Down and away here on him. And Brunson says, stop it. And again, catch him with an elbow as he comes off of the ropes. One, two, three. So, Sam Bass has evened up the match there. He did it with the help of some trunks and a few other things. But it's an all-even match here with Sam Bass winning the second fall. Yeah, I saw what you did. So Gilbert now moving very slowly. Let's break for this word. We'll be back. Sometimes what you have isn't quite enough. At Cumberland, we can help you get what you want. Stop at the green light. Go home with the green. Whatever your money needs are, with a second mortgage from Cumberland Capital, the equity you have in your home can make things a lot nicer. Stop at the green light. Go home with the green. Cumberland Capital. If I tell you you can save up to 60% on many of your Christmas items, will you listen? Unclaimed freight is the place. Like console stereo starting for as little as $88 and going on up to fantastic component systems or sewing machines with a 25-year guarantee from $59. And Unclaimed Freight is a large selection of recliners starting as low as $39. So this Christmas season, save up to 60% on your Christmas needs from Unclaimed Freight. 605 North Broadway, open seven days a week. All right, the do to me, and look like the thing got turned around that down there. Sign right over there. Ron Wright is like pay no Castor Oil. What that sign says. <laughs> I took that man down there and whooped him so bad, humiliated the man when I got him tied down to where he couldn't run from me, that he got the worst whooping that he's ever had put up on in his life, probably in the whole history of his wrestling career down there. You didn't I get a shamed him. No, I didn't get a whooping. What? You see any bruise marks on me this morning? I didn't see any on Dromo. Well, you ought to see him. He's down there this morning beat up, looks so bad, he's ashamed to even come up here and face this TV out at your own TV. Well, it appeared to his me like the both of you got on, on the referee. His right cheek and his left eye swell plum shut. You tell me that he didn't get whooped and beat up down there. I'd say the referee got that whooped by both of you. That just to show you how well that referee's not got no business to getting up there and sticking his nose in my match. Bill Dromo, he asked for that match. I, man that I am, went down there and accepted it. And what business has a referee got down there sticking his nose in it, trying to stop a match, telling me that I can't do this and that's illegal. When did all the man ought have done come down there and bought himself a ringside ticket Sat down there and minded his manners like the rest of them fan done left me alone. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you trying to get old Big Jim fired and you got fired last night, old buddy. <laughs> What's this mouth neck with a talking about? You and Romo both got suspended. That right there's the man that did it, and you're fine too, buddy. <laughs> what are you talking about? the commission last night and I recommended that he be suspended for 15 days and a $100 fine. Right. <laughs> no, wait a minute. He's not got no authority to have me suspended. The only man that can spend me is a commission, buddy. When you're in that ring, you're going to do what I tell you to, when I tell you to. Oh, and you you don't don't want want you me, you Would you like to make it a $1,000? Huh? And a what year suspension? Yeah, now we're going to go to a year and a thousand dollars. You just on fifty. You don't know what I tell you to, when I tell you to, and you're in that rap comment. I hadn't been told that they've come and suspended me. This is the he first told, time. I told you last night. He told he didn't you didn't last tell me night. I did. Last night. You didn't tell me. I put it right on that PA speaker. Let your hand on this man one time. He can suspend you for one year and fine you a thousand dollars. You want to go for it? Hit him. Here I am. Right here. Are you doing? Uh, you get Oh, brother. There it was. Ron Wright strikes again. What, what I think now, he's he getting me on a technicality there. He said you didn't say anything about the smash. Uh, I, I don't know what was the results of this will be, but uh, Brunson does have... I want that man back out here, and I want to get on the telephone to the commission and see if I can get him a one-year suspension you know and a $1,000 fine. 
Hey, how, how would how would you like to wrestle him? Right, right there the side. Right? Oh. Right we don't we don't have another referee. Unless, unless you're capable well, of What about you? I, I, I can't do it anymore. My license ran out. Well, I'm I mean, in this case, it ran out real <laughs> quick. Well, I don't know. If you're going to go talk a while. I don't need oh. a referee. Just bring him up there. You don't even want a referee. I don't need a referee. You just bring it up in the ring. That's right. Suits me if it suits you, John. What does Ron say? Go find him. Go find him. But no, technically, though, you, he's been suspended in Knoxville, you said, so he can't wrestle. You'd be going against your own ruling. You, you suspended him for 15 days in Knoxville. If he were to get in that ring now, you and I would both be in trouble along with him. Well, I didn't suspend him anywhere but Knoxville. I can get him somewhere else. Oh, yeah, you can have him anywhere else. All right, give him to me somewhere else. How about then? tonight? Oh, That'll be fine. That'll be Good fine. Deal. You can have him. That'll be fine. So, so tonight down in Lenore City, that's the way it's going to be. We're going to have Brunson and Ron Wright. Boy, I tell you, things are popping around this place. Let's break for this word. We'll be back. Wolf Dairies presents the Generation Gap. We're going to sing it loud and clear now. generation gap with delicious wolf dairy's milk throughout the years they've been first with quality and freshness now they tell it like it is with a printed date on top of every carton it clearly shows theirs is the freshest milk available drink delicious wolf dairy's milk up front of all the others <laughs> It's a real money saver from Gateway Furniture. Enjoy the convenience of a five-drawer chest and a triple dresser with twin mirrors. Dream on a queen-size bed. Feel the Milan Picant finish. All this elegance for just $347. This Beloso bedroom suit from Bassett regularly sells for $499.95. You save over $150 during the sale. See for yourself at Gateway Furniture in beautiful downtown Maryville. There's a bell now, and it looks like Sam Bass is uh, talking to the referee about something. Now they're getting ready to collide here. In the referee's holy goal, Tommy Gilbert and Sam Bass getting back into the... And watch these warp your head off, both coming in here from Sam Bass. Gilbert up in the corner. And a rabbit punch there to the back puts uh, Gilbert down. And another warp your head off hold here from Bass. And again, pours him right into the rope now, going after the bread basket now is Sam Bass. He's using the fist to avoid Brunson trying to get him to stop that. There goes ahead into the turnbuckle. And Bass pounding away here on Tommy Gilbert. And back in that turnbuckle again goes Gilbert, kicks into the bread basket. Another Another turnbuckle for him. And Bass pounding away here. So now, Gilbert getting it, trying to come back here if he can and doing a pretty fair job of it. Warp your head off, hold on Sam Bass, throw it away. Pounding away on Sam Bass and Gilbert as he comes back. And Bass is going down little by little. And look at Gilbert go to work on this man. Gonna use the boot for a while. His fist probably got sore. All right, there goes Sam into the turnbuckle. Gilbert right after him. Warp your head off, hold right and left. There goes the Sam again into the turnbuckle. Could be it. One, two, no. Sam Bass rolls Gilbert off. A brain duster from Gilbert on Sam Bass and another one. And it staggers Mr. Bass. A warp your head off hole there from Gilbert. 
Oh, Jerry Lawler slipping in towards Jim White. Jerry Lawler going to interfere with this match. And Gilbert are helping out. Sam Bass is in there. And they have interfered with this match. And Gilbert, flat of his back. Then he gives the match to Tommy Gilbert. He gives the match to Tommy Gilbert. So now, go up here. What is you want, Tommy? I don't want the match like this. Well, make them two get back in the dressing room. Bring Sam back out. You want Sam back? We'll finish it right here in the middle of the ring. You didn't win anything. Get in that. Well, now, wait a minute here. Well, let's, he doesn't want the match that way. Just get either one of them back in here and it'll get in the ring. He says he wants either one of you. Not, not, either one of us, we just win. Well, all right, he's man enough to want you, won't you get up there? You get out of there, boy, you done been beat. We what? got somebody else to wrestle. Get him out What, are you chicken? Will, will you accept the match with him? Why should I accept the match with him? I beat him last night. We got somebody else to wrestle. Get him out of there. You're chicken. I believe you're the one that's chicken. I believe you're the one that's chicken, brother. Oh, man, oh, wants you in the ring. Well, you, you don't want me, you're yellow. Well, yeah, he wants you. He wants you up there right now. All right, Lawler. Well, we, we need to give Tommy a little bit of a rest. Wait, wait a minute. Well, we can give him a rest. You go, will you accept? Will you take the man? All right, now here comes Bass slipping in here. Okay, now you're going to accept this match with Gilbert. He's issued you a challenge. You ask him again. I don't think he wants Do you. Do want this match? Either one of them. I don't care which one. Gets. Either one of you. Either one of you. All right, Lawler's going in there. Looks like he's going to do it right now. So, there goes. Watch Gilbert. Gilbert going after Jerry Lawler. Point it on him. There goes Lawler in there. Catching him. I want your head off hold. Tommy don't need any rest. He's going after Jerry Lawler, and Jerry Lawler wants some mercy. Gilbert now going after him hot and heavy. A body flip and a high in the air with Jerry Lawler. Gilbert says, all right, I'm going to teach you to interfere with my matches. And that's exactly what's happened. Lawler now all the way out of the ring here, out on the concrete. And Gilbert wants some more of him. Lawler now trying to get back in there. Gilbert waiting on him. Lawler now wanting to shake hands. He wants mercy. And I don't believe he's going to get it. So it's Jerry Lawler and Tommy Gilbert, a continuation practically of the first match. And another work your head off hold here, and another one. And down goes Jerry Lawler. Looked like a tree falling. One, and he rolls Tommy Gilbert off. Now with a headlock here, Tommy Gilbert going to work here on Jerry Lawler. Another work your head off hold here from Tommy Gilbert as down goes Jerry Lawler again. And he said, look at here what I've got. Gilbert's right proud of himself right now. Got a headlock here. Little hair pulling now from Jerry Lawler, and that doesn't work. Lawler goes down. Now again, one, count of one here on Lawler. With an arm bar on Jerry Lawler, it's Tommy Gilbert going very methodically about his business out here this afternoon, tonight. So he takes that arm, he makes it into a hammer lock and puts a big knee right down on that arm. So Tommy Gilbert now has gotten into this match with Jerry Lawler after Jerry Lawler and Sam White interfered with the match with Sam Bass. So Tommy Gilbert has gone out of one match into another one here all of a sudden. Sam Bass was his first one, which he won on a disqualification. And now he's issued a challenge to Jerry Lawler, and Jerry Lawler got in there, and he's been taking, as Ron Reich would say, a pretty good whooping ever since. Right now, Gilbert has a hammerlock, but he gets up and stomps the arm every once in a while. And Lawler's in some trouble. And just brought this crowd to its feet. Now here's Lawler trying to get to his feet. 
And he's doing so. He throws a bread basket punch on Gilbert, which breaks it up. Gilbert, oh, look at here. Tried to kick Gilbert, Gilbert got out of the way. A drop kick, and instead, Lawler hits the ground. Work your head off, hold on, on Lawler one. Down to one on Lawler. Now with a headlock here on Jerry Lawler, Tommy Gilbert. And kind of working away here on it. Go to work your head off, hold on him. Down he goes. Gilbert bringing him back up again and a brain duster this time on him. And down again goes Lawler. And another brain duster on Lawler. One rolls him off again. Lawler's a tough fan. Coming off the ropes now and coming down hard here on Lawler. Now, I don't know what kind of hole he's got. Looks like he might have had a chinlock of some kind on Lawler. Lawler rolls him over. Little hair pulling. Again, Lawler trying something that didn't work. Gilbert comes up with a headlock on him. Now, there goes the head of Gilbert into the turnbuckle. And in, into that turnbuckle goes the head of Mr. Tommy Gilbert. This time, Gilbert picks up the foot and throws Lawler's head in there. <coughs> Going to roll him over now, see if it can't be a pin. One. Instead, Lawler rolls him right off. Both wrestlers look like they're tired, worn out. There goes a the kick from Lawler. Puts Gilbert down. And now with a headlock here, Jay Lawler. But instead, and body block, and they both collide and both go down. One, two, three, counting them both. Four, five, Lawler's getting up some six. Puts the head of Gilbert down there. And oh, comes down hard, Gilbert moves, and he Acts like he's throwing that knee up some. Went up high, came down with a knee on the head of Gilbert, and Gilbert moved on him in the last second. So now he gets a warp your head off hold from Tommy Gilbert and a drop kick. And down goes Mr. Lawler. So now again here, Lawler getting a brain duster here from... Lawler, Lawler comes back with a warp your head off hole. Down goes Gilbert. And body block there from Gilbert. He puts Lawler back down. Kicks into the bread basket now from Lawler. And Gilbert just butts him like a ram. Down goes Lawler with a warp your head off hole. Could be it. Off of that one. Lawler's a tough man, like I told you. Hard to pin. Gilbert now catches Lawler with a bread basket punch and another one. Warp your head off, hole, and down goes the tree trunk. And look at here. There's one, two, three. Okay. Lawler is pinned here by a very tired Tommy Gilbert in this first fall. I'm assuming we're going to go two out of three falls. This is a match that was made up after Jerry Lawler and Jim White interfered with the match with Tommy Gilbert and, and Sam Bass. And now here's Jim White coming in. See if he can't attend to, to uh, Jerry Lawler in some way. And uh, John is getting Tommy Gilbert out of there. So now we might as well break to this word. We'll be back for a second fall. Now, friends, Jack Klaus here from Taylor Mobile Homes on the Clinton Highway and Alcoa Highway has a real special deal for you. Now, Jack, I want you to tell them all about it. Jim, I'll do it. Taylor's put together a package deal. A new 1973 two-bedroom, 12-wide total electric mobile home and a half-acre lot 
that you can buy for only six nine hundred ninety five dollars. Well, now where is this lot, Jack? Is it in the Knoxville area? Knoxville area, Jim. It's ten minutes from downtown Knoxville, five minutes from downtown uh, Maryville. Also, you have complete delivery and set up total hookup, water sewer, and such tank. All the whole thing in this. For just sixty nine ninety five. So you folks now who want a mobile home but don't have a place to put one, this is the answer to your problem. The complete turnkey job for just sixty nine ninety five at Taylor Mobile Homes. Right, Jim, and we're overstocked too. We need some business. Just remember, nobody gives you a deal like Taylor Mobile Homes. Well, don't forget now there's gonna be all kinds of wrestling action now on the card next Friday night at Chillowee Park. Tommy Gilbert has asked for a match against Dandy Jack Donovan. He turned on Gilbert last night. He left the ring after slugging Tommy and left Tommy at the mercy of Jerry Lawler and Jim White. Now, Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall are begging for a match with Lawler and White for the title. They say no. The Avengers are asking to meet the champs. The Patriots, a new mass team, is also seeking a match with Lawler and White. The McGuire twins, 1,300 pounds worth of them, are going to take on three wrestlers Friday night. Jerry Myatt, Billy Hamilton, and Sam Bass. Even against three, the McGuire's will still be 650 pounds ahead of them. Now, Johnny Walker returns to Chilawe Park Friday night. He'll take on Don Wright in a singles match. All this next Friday, Chilawe Park Arena. Now, tonight, 8 p.m. down in Lenore City at the Lenore City High School Gym. Ron and Don Wright are supposed to meet Tommy Gilbert and Dennis Hall. Jack Donovan faces Billy Hamilton. But I don't know, but what DeVoy Brunson's not going to get with uh, uh, Ron Wright down there. He certainly is asked to, so that's probably what will happen down in the North City tonight at 8 o'clock. Well, I'm sure... Are you finished talking now? No, I'm sure you've got plenty to say. I don't have too much to say. I just want to know who is this wanting to match with us now. Who did you say? You said three teams. Who are they? Well, all right. Let's look here and see. First of all, Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall wants one for the title. They want a title match, huh? The Avengers want one for the title, and the Patriots want one for the title. Patriots and the Avengers, who are they? I don't know. They're just... Mass team or something? I guess they are. Well, I'll tell you, listen, let me tell you. First of all, Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall, that's completely out of the question. They're not getting a title match. Not, not Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall, because we've wrestled them twice, right? Twice already. Both times we beat them two straight falls in just two or three minutes every match, and they have the audacity to come up here and ask us for a title match. Well, that's, that's completely out of the question. Just scratch your name right off You're the list. You're going to scratch them off right there, No, No match with Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall. Now you got the, the Avengers and the Patriots. I never heard of the Patriots. Have you ever heard of the Patriots? I don't know anything about the Patriots. Now, I've heard of the well, Avengers. Somebody you don't know anything about, you're scared of, right? Well, I tell you, now, that's that's not being scared. That's being smart. You never mess with anybody you don't know anything about, right, you so know? Psychology, Jim, right? That's oh. right. So I'll tell you what, you can just scratch out, let's scratch out the Patriots there, too. That leaves the Avengers, right? Now, you ever heard anything about the Avengers? Just a little. Well, I'll tell you what, we've heard a little bit about these Avengers, and I think we can take them, so you can just go ahead and sign that match. We'll take the Avengers. Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall, that's out, and the Patriots, that's out. So you put it down against the Avengers. Is that uh, all right with you? Suits me. Okay. It suits so I, you. I want to tell you people something. We are the Tennessee State Tag Team Champions, and we're not afraid to put our title on the line against anybody. Well, you can tell that. We're the two toughest them all. wrestlers that's ever come into this area, and we hold the title now. We're going to hold it for a long time, and we'll give any contenders a title shot. Anybody that's good enough to get in that ring with us, with us, we'll give them a title match. But Lucas and Hall and the Patriots, they're not getting, they're not getting a title match because they're not worthy contenders. So uh, you put us down against the Avengers. You're, you're right? pretty good at contradicting yourself, aren't you? What do you, you mean? You, by that? You'll wrestle anybody, but you mark off half of them. You'll wrestle anywhere, anytime, boy. You're gonna defend those titles, but then you wrestle, mark off. We'll wrestle all worthy contenders, right? Right. Well, I, we don't want any pushovers out there. Well, I That's think right. the Patriots are worthy. We don't want people out there like Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall because they don't give us enough competition. Right. Therefore, the match is not good enough for us. That's right. See, when, when the fans come to see our match, they know they're witnessing the greatest tag team that they've ever laid their eyes on, and we don't want to disappoint them by getting in there with somebody that's not worthy competition. So you put us down against those Avengers because they've built up quite a name for themselves. We heard a lot about them up here in this area, and all the people, 
All the people think they're pretty tough boys, so you just put them down there, and we'll show you this Friday night we'll beat them two straight, just like we beat Lucas and Hall down there. You're going to put up the belts. That's right. We'll put up those belts against those Avengers, okay? You, uh, you may not have the belts. Actually, we're going to prove enough. to the people of this area we're the greatest champions that's ever been in this part of the country. Now, I want to ask you another thing. I want to know who's, how you run this TV show here. We got two opponents out there that want to wrestle us, and you make me get in the ring with an idiot like Tommy Gilbert. Would you like me to explain it to you? That man is crazy. All these fans know he's crazy. Any man that goes... Hey. What are you running for? House in the ring, boy. Yeah. Hey, I ain't got to wrestle him again. Are you sure? Two, uh, two out of three falls. I you, didn't agree to two you out just, three You falls. just lost one. Well, I'm starting to wrestle one fall. That no, means you're fall. the man that accepted the challenge. My partner I'll wrestle him. I'll wrestle him. I'll wrestle him. Why? Get on back in the ring where you belong. Maybe you'll lose two straight, Mr. Lawler. You just lost one. All right, getting started here on his second fall, and Lawler says he didn't agree to go two out of three. But neither did Gilbert agree for him to come in and interfere with the match with Sam Bass. So now, Lawler out here trying to stay out of the way here of a man that's already beaten him once, one fall, and he could go for another one. Tommy Gilbert now. We've got four minutes left, so it Time. looks like uh, Mr. Time. Lawler better get real busy. I didn't say if he's going to do anything. There was a warp your head off hole on Tommy Gilbert. Gilbert now said, all right, if you want to box, we might as well get at it. There he was trying to box, and I was telling Gilbert he doesn't want to. Into a figure four wrist lock now goes Tommy Gilbert. A little hair pulling now from Jerry Lawler. Comes up now with a arm bar on him, and D-Boy Brunson has caught him. Kicks the arms, he turns it loose, and Mr. Gilbert is ready for him. So Lawler now comes up again with a figure four wrist lock on Tommy Gilbert. More hair pulling to get his man down. And he got caught again. Kicks the arm. Up comes Mr. Gilbert. Boy, did he catch him with a warp your head off hole and Lawler. Looks like Gilbert's a one man riot squad. Sure is. I believe they've got him upset. So now, into the referee's hole again they go. Into a figure four wrist lock by Gilbert this time. And he returns the favor, goes to Harrisburg. again now with an arm bar here from Jerry Lawler. Well, we're down to two minutes and it doesn't look like Mr. Lawler has done anything yet. Time is running out here. So now here's Lawler standing on the hand here of Gilbert stomping away on the arm. Still stomping away. One minute left to go. Well, Mr. Lawler better get on some kind of time unless he's going to lose this match, what he's going to do. So now there is another stomp here from Lawler on Tommy Gilbert. Now Gilbert coming back here. He's going to throw a few punches of his own and warp your head off hole there on Lawler. And down he goes. Didn't even try for a pin. He's going to give him some more punishment. Brain duster now. Now going for a pin. One. That's Mr. Lawler rolls Gilbert off of there. Another brain duster. Down he goes. Out of the ring comes Lawler. And Jim White comes in to help out again. I believe he's handed him something. He has handed him a chain. And now here's a chain by Lawler. And time has run out. Time has run out here on this match. And Jerry Lawler has lost it. Tommy Gilbert has won it by virtue of winning the first fall. And Jim White comes in to talk with Lawler about it. He doesn't understand it. But time has run out on the match. 
Time ran out. Time ran out on the match. Stand up there and look at me like that. Tommy Gilbert won it. Tommy Gilbert won two today, it looks like. First one from Sam Bass. And me. No, you didn't win one fall. You can't understand that he didn't win one fall. Up there talking to John about it. Yeah, oh, he's all upset. Here he comes. Right. I won that fall. No, you didn't win the fall. I won the fall. We still out. got time on the show. John Kazana rang that bell just like this. He rang it. He you it, want yeah. Gilbert to get beat. Be John. You rang it too early. Look at the clock. No, I see the clock. We're still on the air, are we? That's right. I had him beat, and you rang the bell to save him. Because you're against us, Kazana. You hate us, and you know he does. You hate us, and he hates us, but all the fans love us. And he rang the bell. Well, you're going to have a match next Friday night. He rang the bell to save Gilbert. You know he did. You'll pay for that, Kazana. Don't forget, the McGuire twins will be with us next Friday night. Also, it'll be Lenore City tonight. When you get out of here, we run out of time. Bye-bye. Don't touch me off.